Thank you for joining us today at the Delafield Quilt Company. Today's tutorial is going to be how to sew foundation paper pieces. The template we're using today is from our free pot holder pattern that's available on our website and it's template H2. Foundation paper piecing can be a wonderful method if you're looking for a quilt block that has very crisp lines and if you're using quilt blocks that have a lot of detail into them. There are a lot of great foundation paper piecing patterns out there, or you can even make your own. If you're going to be printing your own foundation patterns, it's important to use a really good paper. One of my favorites is Carol Doak's foundation paper. There's also many more out there. The reason I like this paper is because it's just light enough that you can see a little bit through it when you hold it up to a light source and it prints really well. It also tears very nicely. Typically your foundation paper piecing templates will include a step-by-step -step guide of how to sew the fabrics on and in what order. This one here has us using white and red fabric. It tells us what order to sew, one, two, three, four, and so on. And also this one tells us what size of a scrap that we can use. If your template doesn't give you the measurements of the blocks that you need to cut, it's easy to figure that out. If you take a look at the area that you'll need a piece of fabric for, you need to cut this so it is much larger than this area so it will overlap the entire section. Since I have the fabric pieces already cut, I'm going to go ahead and get started. You want to look for number one on your template. This one has me number one using a 4 by 4 square. And then look for number two, which should be right next to it. I'm going to just double check my fabric that I've cut to make sure it overlaps all the edges. Okay, so once we have our fabric cut, we are going to start putting on the template. We're going to put it on the back of the template. We're going to start with the first piece. Make sure it's face up. We're going to place that first piece so that it overlaps this triangle area of this template. And you'll want to hold it up to a light source so that you can make sure that you can see the template lines coming through the fabric and that make sure your fabric covers the entire area. To align the second section, you're going to make sure that the right sides of fabric is facing down. And then you have to line it in a way that once you sew on the sewing line and flip it open, it needs to cover the entire shape of that section too. So again, using your light source, find out where the line is for section two. Make sure that you're at least a quarter inch over that because once you sew it and flip it open, then you'll have a quarter inch seam on it. And you will trim the seams afterwards, so don't worry if it's not perfect. So to test it, I am just gonna put a pin in where the sewing line is. I'm gonna make sure if I finger press it and open it, hold it up to my light source, I'm gonna make sure it covers the entire section too. So once you have it on, it's nice sometimes to put a, just a pin to secure it. We're going to head to the sewing machine and we are going to sew right on this black line, the solid black line between sections one and section two. Okay, so when you're at your sewing machine, make sure that your needle is going to fall right on the intersection of the lines. And I'm going to sew down the solid line right to here where they intersect. When you're sewing foundation paper piecing, it's best to use a very small stitch. This makes it a lot easier when you go to remove the paper from the quilt block later. So now that I've sewn the pieces together, I'm going to go ahead, fold the paper back, And I'm going to trim to a quarter inch. Fold the paper back, remove any pins that you used. Finger press it a little bit. And then go ahead and give the piece a nice pressing. We're now ready to add the third piece of fabric to the pattern. So on the back, 
I'm going to flip it over again, see if I can find the section three, which is right here. And then I am going to carefully line that up, right sides down, over piece two. And again, you want to make sure that you're overlapping the line that you're going to sew on. And then when you flip it open, it completely covers section three. So again, using a small stitch, I'm going to sew right on the solid line where it intersects with the other sections. And then make sure you stop at where the next intersection is. Now that I've got the third section sewn, I'm going to go ahead again, pull back the paper, and I'm going to trim a quarter inch. Again, go ahead and press it open. Give it a good pressing. And then we're ready to move on to section four. We're going to use the same process. We're going to make sure it's right sides of the fabric down. Make sure that it overlaps your sewing line. And then we are going to go ahead, pin it, and sew it just like we've done before. Now that we have all our pieces sewn, I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of starch on this, want it nice and crisp, and then we're going to trim the block's edges. So now that we have all the pieces sewn and it's nicely pressed, we're going to go ahead and trim this block down. I'm going to use my ruler as a straight edge. I'm also using the ruler's quarter inch marking just to make my cutting a little bit easier and make sure that I'm doing it nice and straight. Now that we've finished squaring off our quilt block, we're going to do one of my favorite things and that is ripping off the paper. Be very careful as you're ripping it to make sure that you're not pulling out any seam lines. Since we've used a small stitch to sew this, it should come off pretty easily and hopefully in not too many different parts. Once you have all the paper trimmed off, go ahead and clip any extra little strings that you might have and give this a really good pressing. Thank you for joining us today at the Delfield Quilt Company. We hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you like our channel, please consider subscribing. Have a great day.